the old doggy coin, Dogecoin is how I like to say it. You guys have let me know how you say it in the comments down below. I want to follow up on Dogecoin. I've covered it a few times. You know about my trading plan already. If you don't, check it out. I've got it in the previous videos on Dogecoin. I love it. Dogecoin, here it is. Memes. It's all a meme coin. What does it mean? How could it go up so much? I don't know. I think just a lot of people love mucking around gambling on crap, right? I love the coin itself. It's a lot of fun. End of the day, it's a meme coin. There's nothing happening with the coin at the moment. So with that in mind, let's take another look at the chart and what the hell is going on with Dogecoin. But before I do, we have to have a look at coin market cap. This is incredible. Dogecoin, top 10 cryptocurrency again, nearly at 10 billion. I think it's probably on the way down at the moment. So probably by the time you see this, it might be at 11 or 12, but either way, Dogecoin top 10. I don't think that's happened since it was released 2013, 2014, around those periods. So this is pretty cool. Dogecoin is back. It has been one of the legacy coins, Litecoin, Dogecoin, Bitcoin. Of course, Ethereum came later, but to see these guys still in the top 10 or Dogecoin making its way back, pretty cool. All this video is about is to show my love to Dogecoin. As much as I crap on it when it comes to holding it long term, I love it. I think it's so cool that a meme thing like this goes off. Of course, I've got my clothing here. It's, it's a cool thing to do and it has given so much back to me in terms of a trading plan, which is what we have over here. With that said, if you like the content, let me know. Hit the like button down below. Let's get the video to a thousand likes. Goes a long way to helping the video out in the YouTube algorithm. YouTube makes us jump through all sorts of hoops these days. Do that down below and hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. This is your crypto home of hopium free crypto content. So let us know, subscribe down below. Let us get the channel to 53,000 followers. All right, uh, here we go. Dogecoin US dollar still at seven cents. Yesterday it had its pump up to nine cents. We passed 12 cents on AUD, on the, on the AUD volume or the AUD charts. Crazy, I know. Uh, but in terms of this and in terms of our trading plan, this is still in an uptrend. I can't believe it. And personally, this is where trading and emotions get involved. But like I've talked about before, I have my plan. I just go anything under 10, uh, 20 sats, get out anything over 80 sats. So I get my Forex and I'm out. In terms of this on a US dollar chart, this is still in an uptrend, an upswing. If you want to understand how that works, I've got a link to the course down below, 40% off for a limited time only. Go and check that out. Trading course, trading cryptos, swing trading, super simple. And this has kept us in the trade all the way to this point. With that said, I can't say that I have been in the trade because it has been wild. I had my plan four times out. US dollar currently at seven cents on the way down. This volume is getting lower on the pushes up. So we can see that we had a consolidation right here after one, two, three, four days, five days consolidation began to break out on the sixth day. Another couple of days and then we broke out again. But what I'm talking about here is the volume. See this down here? and this here, those days are getting lower in volume. So it is still pushing up, but there's less people becoming involved in purchasing this coin. It's not to say that this is the overall end, but I would be wary of, of that if in case you were buying up at these levels. Again, not financial advice on the channel, it's just reading the chart and understanding the facts of what's going on out there in terms of the market sentiment. So. There, there has been quite a few people that have been buying up in these levels for obvious reasons. There's a ton of volume there already. We can see that. Unfortunately, some people have probably been burnt already and there could be a, a lot of people wanting to dump at these levels because it's come back to their price. It's a, quite a psychological common thing. If you've bought in high, you don't want to sound like a fool. You don't want to be a fool thinking that you've got into some investment at the wrong time. So what are you going to do? Generally, you wait until the price at least comes back to where you are, or if you want to be greedy, go further than that. If it's in a massive bull market already, if it's already had its blow off top and you want to try and get more, that's probably getting a little bit greedy at this point because the returns just diminish so hard from here. What I'm talking about is we've hit 10 cents already, or thereabouts, very close to the 10 cent mark, right on it. Now to double the money, double your money in this, we have to get it to 20 cents. So that's going from a 10 or just over a $10 billion market cap 
to probably 2022 $20, billion dollar market cap. So where does that sit Dogecoin if it had to, if it could double from this point, you're gonna be past Cardano. Is Dogecoin really a Cardano type product? No, but is it really anything better than Aave? <laughs> Not at all. Aave is a lot better than this thing. But at the end of the day, this is what we're looking at. And to get our returns, the returns that people saw back here is more than likely impossible at this point. Well, I shouldn't say more than likely. It's getting very impossible to get those sort of returns that people saw buying in at 0.4 or 0.3 of a cent. It's very, very challenging. So even if the market comes back and you get a little bounce out of 50%, maybe not a little bad trade. There's 80% if we started to come back to these levels at around uh, the three or four cent level, which saw some accumulation earlier. But again, it's just high risk in order just to make our 80% when of course we have seen cryptocurrencies do 80% very easily in other areas which aren't at their all time highs already. So that's Doge US. Now, I don't often look at the Doge versus a, a fiat currency, US or AUD. Uh, people have asked that in the comments. Reason being is I want to increase my Bitcoin holdings. And with Bitcoin, with the Bitcoin holdings, yesterday Dogecoin took off past its old high on the Bittrex volume. So the old high on Bittrex was 220 sats. Yesterday it got to 232. Let's take a look at uh, Doge on Binance, which has a little more volume than Bittrex. So the old high was 260 sats. Yesterday, it got to 227. So it's a little more closely aligned now with the Bittrex chart. So there's not any arbitrage opportunity here anymore. Whereas before there was quite a decent arbitrage opportunity. So there was an arbitrage opportunity on Doge uh, a week or two ago where you could buy it off Bittrex because it was so much lower and then go and sell it on Binance. Problem with that is who knows how long the exchanges would hold up the transaction itself and it's a very high risk strategy. But uh, looking at the Binance chart, we are falling short of the old high at the moment and today is really gonna tell whether we are going to push on. The thing I do like about this is we have broken through the old highs. We had a high uh, here at 152 and then 156. That's a pretty good sign of a continued trend. Unfortunately, the volume is lower. Like I said earlier, in terms of a trade that I like to take and the risk tolerances, it's way out of my league at the moment in terms of what I could expect from this to even just get a doubling, which is pretty much what we should be getting on a lot of our cryptocurrencies in order to at least keep track with the market. The market's just going up so crazy. Currently at 180 sats, we need to go to 360 sats to get there. Never been done before. It's not impossible. Maybe it goes through a price discovery and it goes from 10 billion to 20 billion, then all of a sudden 20 to 40 billion. Who knows? But personally, it's out of the league that I want to be taking at the moment. For me, Dogecoin is a, uh, a basically a flip. I want to buy it down here and sell it somewhere in this vicinity here. I don't mind that it peaks and goes further. So that's the plan on Dogecoin. If you haven't seen it already, go check out the previous videos. It explains it in detail. It's not a very difficult plan. It's quite straightforward. So anyone can really follow that. Not financial advice on the other side of that. I'm going to leave it there. Nice short one for today. Dogecoin. I love it. I love the memorabilia and the apparel on Dogecoin. I think it's a fantastically fun project for whatever the hell they do. They used to sponsor a lot of different athletes and different charities around the world. Who knows, maybe we can bring that back with Elon Musk talking about Dogecoin so often on his Twitter. But for now, I'll wrap that video up. Enough of me talking. What would I do? I'm not buying into it. I'm watching what happens on Dogecoin now. This is out of the league. It's well and truly up there for me. No more Doge. I'm waiting. This could take months just be aware of that. It could take months for us to float all the way back down to these levels, maybe even a couple of years, who knows, but it could take a little while and I'm going to be prepared and patient until that time happens. Like the video if you haven't already, get us to a thousand likes, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. If you did want to get involved with any cryptocurrencies, I have a link to Swiftex in the description down below for Aussie buyers of cryptocurrency. Go and check it out down there. Catch you guys at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.